Lennon Miller is ready to be a Rangers player. Rangers free to make January swoop for winger after collapse of 4.5 million pounds La Liga deal. Serial Desaire sent new message at Rangers after international snub. Kenny McLean reveals if he was close to re-signing for Rangers after manager talks. Barry Ferguson Rangers theory on key figures exit as fans urged not to panic. At the end, I want to hear your opinion on these controversies. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and let's get into the news. It looks like Lennon Miller could be on the verge of becoming a Rangers player. According to Barry Ferguson, who believes the young Motherwell midfielder is ready for the step up. Philippe Clement's plans to refresh the Rangers squad with homegrown talent have been evident. But Miller might be another piece in the puzzle, provided space can be made in the current team. Miller has been making waves at Motherwell with over 50 senior appearances under his belt, a huge achievement for someone so young. Ferguson highlighted on the Go Radio football show that Miller could be a smart move for Rangers, suggesting he's more than capable of stepping into the Ibrox side. If you compare Miller to another rising talent like Bailey Rice, who came through the same age group, Rice has had limited chances in light blue despite his potential. The question is often asked, would these youngsters really perform any worse than some of the senior players already in the squad? Rice hasn't had as much of a chance as Miller, but perhaps it's time to see more of him. However, for Miller to slot into Rangers midfield, the club would need to clear some space. The talented teenager would be in competition with Mohamed Diamande, who is expected to develop into a top player. Rangers shelled out 4.3 million pounds for Diamande, and unless they receive an offer higher than that, it's hard to see him being moved on. Philippe Clement might need to shuffle his deck before a move for Miller can happen. There's no room for the lad while players like Jose Cifuentes and Kieran Dowell are still at the club. Clearing out some of these fringe players will be essential for any new signings to be brought in, especially if Clement plans to stick with his approach of utilizing younger, homegrown talent. For now, it's a waiting game, but Miller certainly has the ability, and the time, to make his mark at Ibrox should the opportunity arise. Rangers could be eyeing up a January move for Ibrahim Adel after a deal for the Egyptian winger to join La Liga side. Getafe collapsed late in the summer transfer window. Left wing has been a problematic area for the club this season, especially with current options Rabbi Matondo and Oscar Cortez both sidelined through injury. Philippe Clement is expected to strengthen his squad in the upcoming window, and Adel might just be the solution. Back in the summer, Rangers explored a loan-to-buy option for the 23-year-old Pyramids FC attacker, but after their initial bid was turned down, it seemed that Adele was heading to Spain. However, a proposed four and a half million pounds deal with Getafe fell through at the last minute due to financial issues on the La Liga side's part. Now, Adele remains in Egypt, and Rangers might sense an opportunity to reignite their interest. Rangers' need for reinforcements on the left wing is clear. With Matondo and Cortez still struggling for fitness and after missing out on Abdallah Sima during the summer, Clement will need fresh attacking options to push forward in both the league and Europe. Interim chairman John Gilligan has already promised financial backing in January, and given the ongoing issues on the flanks, it wouldn't be surprising to see Rangers turn their attention back to Adele, particularly if the Egyptian side lowers their asking price. With a track record of success, including starring in Egypt's Olympic squad, Adele has the potential to add dynamism to Rangers' attack. If Clement's side can negotiate a deal that works for all parties, this could prove to be a shrewd bit of business heading into the second half of the season. Serial Desaires has been sent a clear message regarding his international future after being left out of Nigeria's latest squad. Despite the snub, former Nigeria striker Benedict Akwegbu believes that Desaires still has a chance to return to the Super Eagles setup. Speaking to Sportsboom, Akwegbu explained that Desert's omission likely comes down to tactical preferences rather than his form for Rangers. The Belgium-born forward, who has six caps for Nigeria and two goals to his name, including one against Ghana earlier this year, was overlooked despite star striker Victor Osimhen being sidelined. Akwegbu said, I strongly believe that Serial Desaires is a very good player, but being selected for the national team depends on several factors. There is strong competition for his position, and Nigeria has many options in that area. Maybe he doesn't fit into the current tactical plans. 
I'm sure Dezers will get his opportunity soon. He can't afford to give up. He must keep working hard, scoring goals for his club, and be ready to seize the moment when it comes. To earn a recall to the Nigeria squad, Dezers knows he must continue performing at his best for Rangers. While he started the season in fine form, netting seven goals in his first nine matches, the forward has struggled in recent weeks, going four games without a goal. This has led to growing frustration from fans and pundits alike who are questioning his inconsistent finishing. Nigeria's wealth of attacking talent is underscored by Dezers' exclusion, with the likes of Kalechi Iheanacho, Victor Boniface, and Taiwo Awoni all preferred in his absence. Crucially, these players are competing in Europe's top five leagues, a step ahead of Dezers, who will need to regain his scoring touch to push his way back into the reckoning both for Rangers and his country. For now, Dezers remains Philippe Clement's first choice striker at Ibrox, and a return to his early season form could see him back in the Super Eagles fold soon enough. Kenny McLean has revealed that he was never close to re-signing for Rangers from Norwich City after holding discussions with his current boss, Johannes Hofthorup. The 32-year-old was reportedly identified as a potential target for Philippe Clement over the summer, but a move didn't materialize due to disagreements over personal terms. Speaking to the Daily Record, McLean lifted the lid on how close he came to a return to Ibrox. He explained, He'd made it quite clear publicly that he wanted younger players and I didn't quite fit that bracket. But when I spoke to him, he knew he needed some experience around the place and I've been there a long time. He told me I was still a part of the big plan, so for me that was me secure and getting my head down at Norwich, not really focusing on elsewhere. It was resolved pretty quickly. Should Rangers have pushed harder for Kenny McLean? Rangers could certainly have benefited from McLean's experience this season especially following the side's elimination from the Champions League and now trailing Celtic in the Scottish Premiership. While McLean is well into the latter stages of his career, his extensive experience in the SPFL and Championship as well as his leadership qualities are traits that seem lacking in the current Rangers squad. Connor Barron and Mohamed Diomande have formed a strong partnership in central midfield, but the flanks have been problematic. Václav Cerny has faced heavy criticism for his performances before finally scoring a brace in the 2-0 win against St. Johnstone. Rangers have also struggled when faced with tougher opposition, and qualification for the Europa League knockout stages remains uncertain following the 4-1 defeat to Lyon. McLean's versatility could have strengthened Rangers, but financial limitations meant a return to Ibrox wasn't possible. Clement needs more leaders in his squad especially as James Tavernier continues to show he can't always be relied upon in crucial moments. McLean's conversation with Norwich manager Thorup convinced him to stay at Carrow Road. The Dane's preference for younger players initially raised questions about McLean's future. But after a clear discussion, McLean felt reassured about his role in the team. As things stand, McLean remains with Norwich with over two years left on his contract and has been a key player in their solid start to the season. Given his contribution so far, it's clear Thorup made the right decision to keep him, shutting down any chance of a summer move to Rangers. The situation at Rangers is undeniably uncertain at the moment, with Krieg Robertson's departure adding yet another vacancy to a list that already includes several key roles. His decision to step down as director of football operations supposedly to pursue new career opportunities, leaves the club scrambling to fill important positions at a time when stability is needed both on and off the pitch. Barry Ferguson has weighed in on Robertson's exit, suggesting it's just part of the natural course of things in football and not something to be overly concerned about. Speaking on Go Radio, Ferguson said that while it looks like Robertson is ready to move his career in a different direction, he'll still be at the club until around Christmas which at least buys Rangers a bit of time to find a replacement. Ferguson also addressed the wider concerns about the various vacancies in the boardroom. He believes the most pressing need is for a new CEO, with interim chairman John Gilligan being clear that they won't just hire anyone for the sake of filling the role. A thorough process is underway, and Ferguson expects that in the coming weeks, both a CEO and a new chairman will be appointed. However, this situation has left Rangers without a chairman, 
a CEO, an academy director, a sporting director, and now a director of football operations. John Bennett's departure due to health reasons, combined with James Bisgrove's earlier move to the Middle East, has left major gaps in leadership. While Ferguson urges fans not to panic, it's clear that the club has a lot of work to do to rebuild the structure behind the scenes if they want to regain their footing both administratively and on the pitch. Comment below what you think about the news. Don't forget to leave a like on the video to help me out. I post videos every day talking about our Rangers, so if you're not subscribed, you're missing out on the latest news. See you soon.